cheese. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> what you doing, buddy? You know what? I have no idea what to expect out of today's video. There is no telling what this fan is going to do. You can also drink it with Perrier. <laughs> Baby, how many of these trips do you I am have? having so much fun. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack and I, we are hanging out and we've been chatting about all things French because we definitely, like so many of you, have a love affair with France and all things French. We love Paris, we love the countryside. I don't think we've ever been anywhere we didn't love in France. No, everywhere has been amazing. It's wonderful. So today we wanted to share with you 10 French items that everyone should have in their home. There may be a couple extra little bonus items Could be a few bonuses and a few surprises maybe mm -hmm. that you don't even know about. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is definitely gonna be an interesting one <laughs> for sure. But we wanted to share with you the items that we feel like you should definitely have in your home that will help give you that sort of French feeling. Now, a lot of these items you probably already have in your yes. home. So we're just gonna be giving you ideas today. We'll share with you the, the links to the items that we're, we're showing you, but you probably already have a lot of this in your home, and we hope more than anything else that this is going to inspire you to create a French experience in your own home because some of us are like, oh, I wish, I wish we could go to Paris. I know, but, right now. You know, travel has been a little bit weird for so many of us, and so I thought it'd be really just a little bit of escapism today. That would be And something that we can all do no matter where we are in the world today. So, yeah. we hope that sounds like a lot of fun. We hope you'll hit subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up, and let us know down in the comments if after we have shown you so many items, if you wanna know more, because we had to cut ourselves off. <laughs> we would love to do more, so give us a comment, let us know. Yes, definitely. Okay, should we jump in? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, the first item that you should absolutely have in your home are French cookbooks. Now, I know that not all of us speak French, so we're gonna take someone else that's done it in English for <laughs> us. It was made it a little bit easier for us, and one of my go-to sources for that is Mimi Thorson. She has two cookbooks. She has a kitchen in France. I'll let you, you wanna start showing them yes. as we flip through. She's got a kitchen in France, and she also has French country cooking. I cannot tell you which one I would choose over the other because they are both equally amazing. And she has been living in uh, France with her family and she just really provides just amazing recipes, but also just it's like a visual feast. You just feel so inspired and you feel like you visited France when you enjoy one of her cookbooks. I, I wanted to call it a book. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's a book with recipes. Like, That's what it's, I feel like, yeah. It's not, like there's a lot of recipes in here, but it's because of the, I think I have like, I have like things <laughs> have earmarked. There, yeah. yeah, like I genuinely use these. This is literally like someone journaled their trip. Yeah. And documented what they made. Yeah. So if you want an escape, for just a few dollars, oh, relatively. Oh my gosh, yeah, these and, are amazing. And she's just, she really gives you a lot of practical guides to how to actually create a French experience while also cooking French recipes. And that's what I love so much about Mimi Thorson. She's just amazing and her books are incredible, you guys. Just, if you don't have them already, we highly <laughs> recommend them. All right, Ooh, getting, my, think alike. getting my morning workout <laughs> in. And three and four. Yeah, so next one that you definitely need to have, we just bought the Staub cookbook because I have been saying for so long I wanted to invest in some really nice French cookware and Staub is as French as it comes. Yeah. This is the most authentic coquette you could possibly buy. This is the, the, the OG. <laughs> French cookware. It really is. Um, the story behind this is amazing. It's literally he he just brought this like from like he literally created it like cast it's cast That's iron. So cool. Yeah. And so it's it, it is incredible. It is incredibly heavy. What I love about the the coquette is that you can cook in it, and then you can also put it into the oven. So. <laughs> I did not have a piece like that, and I have been saying for years, I need this because it really makes cooking a lot easier. Well, Staub also came out with a cookbook oh, cool. for the modern cook, which is what I'm all about because they really wanted to make it easy and practical for you to be able to make recipes during the week. So there are a lot of recipes in this cookbook that are really, really quick, they're easy, but they also wanted to give you weekend, or yeah, weekend recipes. And so what you'll also find, you. 
amongst the simple <laughs> ones, you'll also find some slow cooking ones oh, that's so cool. as well. So the cookbook is really just packed with, look at this. Oh. I mean, if that doesn't make your mouth water, I mean, if that doesn't sell you on the on the, on the cookware, I know. I'm like, I'm making that tonight for dinner. I want to make a giant thing of mac and cheese in this guy. Yes, I sent Jack to the store earlier so that he could get some of the ingredients because we are literally going to take everything that we've got here and create a French experience oh, for ourselves tonight. Because can't wait. We just miss it. We've been quite a bit. We've been to Paris. We've taken our kids. We've, we've been, been all before over the we south. were even we, before we were even married. We had actually visited with a group of friends. We had our first kiss. <laughs> In France. <laughs> it wasn't French. It wasn't French. <laughs> I will never forget that. Yeah, so we have a lot of really fun experiences. We hope some of you have those experiences as well. But even if you're dreaming of getting to go to France, which even now we're like, oh, we're we want to go to France. Dreaming slash plotting. Yes. So um, maybe some of you understand that too. I think you probably do. And it's like, yeah, some of these experiences help us to have that everyday feeling in our own homes. And I just love that, don't yeah. you? Okay, next up we have a vase because one of our favorite things that we love to do when we're in France is to go by the florist. The florists in France are amazing. We absolutely love them. And the French, it's just kind of a part of their normal life is to get a baguette and to go by the florist and to really just set the table and to make it an, an incredible experience that you will want to linger over. And that's something that we just, really value. Yeah, I used to see it in movies and I thought it was so cliche. I was like, yeah, right. You go there, they actually do. They've got yeah. a baguette on with one arm, they're holding a fresh thing of flowers. Yeah. It is a part of everyday life. Yeah, so we think that you should definitely, you probably already have a vase. So you don't have to buy a vase, you probably already have one. These are just a couple examples that I really like because they're a lot lower and I think that's really important when you're trying to sit at the table is to have a low vase full of flowers. Now, this one's almost a little bit too high, but I know a lot of you own that one because I talk about it all the time. <laughs> you can definitely use the Pottery Barn one that you already have and just keep the flowers really low in it if you're gonna use that one. But I also wanted to show you this one. Just This is just a little one from Target and I love it because it's wide and low like me. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. You thought you killed right? me. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. Miss feisty. Where's the feistiness <laughs> in this thing? What I really like is just that you can it's got a wide mouth, which makes it really, really easy to be able to clip your flowers. You could also, if you don't have a florist right near you, uh, go to the grocery store. That's a great way of being able to just grab some flowers. Yeah. Yeah, you really can. Hold on. What are you doing? Just I did go to the grocery store this oh, morning. Oh, baby. So, when hey. I was out getting my ingredients, I wanted to surprise you a little oh, bit. Oh, thank you. And I saw all the vases that you have, and I was like, we gotta go You're low. right, see? And that's gonna be perfect in there. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, that was so thoughtful. I know, so French of me. It was so French. I love this. Oui, oui. We should do these videos more often. I get flowers. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of bread and baguettes, let's just chat about this fact that you really just need a bread basket because I don't know if we've ever been to any of our French friends' homes and they didn't serve us bread. And I mean, we, every restaurant you go to, they, they serve you your baguette. And even when we were getting ready, <laughs> a few days ago, we were down at this beautiful French restaurant here in Atlanta. And right before one of the other girls was like, I love going to that restaurant because you just eat the bread. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one time we were there and we were talking in, in France and our friends were like, what is this low carb diet? Why would you ever do that? Oh my gosh. One of my French girlfriends was like, I would rather die. <laughs> <laughs> that is their mentality. <laughs> She's like, I can't live without my baguette. It's she said she was trying to express it she's like it's like it's literally a part of me that would be like like no longer having that would be like no longer having an arm or something yeah like it's just in, ingrained in who they are so i think that having a beautiful basket that you can serve your bread on the table is something that's really really nice even if you don't serve bread every single day of the week um i think that it's something that you can really just enjoy and it really just enhances your experience at a meal time. Oh yeah. This is one that we actually bought handmade in Morocco, uh, but I've left some links for you because I was eyeing some vintage French ones that I was like, oh, these would be amazing as well. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> I've got a little bag of tricks over here, by the way. She has Apparently, no idea what's in there. I should send this man to Whole Foods more often. Oh, it's this so much fun. Really working out well for me. <laughs> so this is our baguette, which would definitely go in our basket. Yeah, so we'll just slice it up, put a little cloth napkin down in the basket, and then just, yeah, have some bread. I know. With butter and thick jam. 
Yes, very specific. <laughs> I know, that's what I love. <laughs> and while we're talking about bread, let's also chat about the cutting board, the wood cutting board. I feel like it's just so French. Like every yeah. French restaurant, everybody just always, they just always have the and they board. use them. Yes, we actually use this. Now I know a lot of people would use it just to serve and that's definitely something that we do as well. A lot of times we'll put, maybe we put the baguette out actually with some fresh figs and some cheese. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> cheese? <laughs> do you have some fresh figs in there too? No, they oh. didn't have any. <laughs> well, either way. I think having a beautiful wood cutting board like this will really just enhance your life in general. It looks really beautiful leading on your countertop. Uh, I'll let you hold that cheese okay. for a second. Okay. Yeah. But it also has, I love them when they have the little leather like oh, yeah. this because you could also hang it on the wall. But overall, just having something like this will really just, it brings a lot of warmth into your kitchen, but it's also practical. So it's beautiful to look at, but it's something you can absolutely use every single day. Oh, like me. So, you? Beautiful to look at, but oh. also practical. Moving right along. <laughs> Next up we have the wine glass. And this one, I hate that this is a little bit fancy. This is something we were talking about. I really want to get a set of just classic, just simple. What you doing, buddy? You know what? I have no idea what to expect out of today's video. There is no telling what this fan is going to do. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> so you said you wanted some regular oh, wine glasses. Oh, aren't you just so sweet? So this one had a giant V on it, so I figured that was a good first step. Yes. The, wow. This is this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So yes, this is a little uh, red wine glass, which we did not own. No. We, you know, our our family gave us some wine glasses when we first got married, and we're 100% guilty of not having all the stuff, you know? And well, we had them overseas, but then that was, they didn't make the cut for the crate and we just haven't yeah. bought them since. So there you go. Just a simple little set of red wine glasses. And don't feel overwhelmed if you're not a wine drinker. I mean, it's it's perfectly fine. You can still, you really should. <laughs> you can also drink it with Perrier. <laughs> Baby, how many of these tricks do I you have? I am having so much fun. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So you can do it with um Yeah, so if you have Perrier the well. wine glass, one of the other things that they always do in France is that they will serve you some they we always just called it bubbly water because it's not necessarily Perrier. Um we love Perrier as well, but the, everywhere you go, they serve you, you know, bubble water. Well, I actually usually just say, "Do you want water or do you want tap?" Yes, and this so, is so water. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, that was in Spanish, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is wonderful to be able to just be able to serve in your wine glass. So uh, that's why I really wanted these. These are actually made in Germany. So again, we're not trying to necessarily, today we don't have all French brands. Right. For us, today's video was really about inspiring, really just kind of sharing from our own hearts, I think. And yeah. just like, this is something that we really crave in our lives. We love to be able to decorate and, and create these beautiful rooms, but to us enjoying the space is also really important. Huge. So I think that a simple wine glass with a beautiful Perrier or red wine in it will really just enhance your daily living. Yeah. What else do you have? So <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with this too. This you would definitely not want to drink in a wine glass. Could be a lot of this, but a good French aperitif yeah. is amazing. Well, and that's what's so fun. That, that really actually speaks to such an enormous point. Is that the French always take their time. Yes, they have multiple things that they serve. They don't. They they start with maybe the the cheese. They'd have some things out that you would have like little hors d'oeuvres. That's where the word comes from, right? Yeah. And so you're gonna have a little. Um, maybe a little drink before. We've fallen in love with this oh, roulette. This is amazing. Yeah, what is the year since 1872? And it makes just beautiful cocktails that are just yeah. so yummy. So yeah, I think having a few of these little things with your table are just gonna enhance the entire experience. <laughs> So, of course, if you want to have an authentic French experience, you also definitely need a few things to set your table with. And today, again, these are just basic items. They're not anything fancy. 
If what it, and you probably already have most of this on hand, yeah. but I wanted to show you these because I really feel like these are things that everyone should own. So just in case you don't have it, I'll show you what I've got. And again, we'll leave links down below, <laughs> but you probably already have these things. First of all, you need to definitely- I'll take the plate. Okay. First of all, you definitely need to have a beautiful tablecloth and cloth napkins. And I know that a lot of you are like, I'm not using cloth napkins. I read your comments, people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've seen it. I know what you're saying behind my back. <laughs> I don't think that you have to do this every single day of the week. We try to do this a few times a week. We try to do this as often as we can. Yeah. Because what we have found is that when the table is set, we linger longer on it. And for us as a family, if we can get our teenage kids and our daughter's 20, if we can somehow convince our children to sit at the table yeah. and talk to us and linger with us, I feel like that's literally the best thing that you could possibly do. Yeah, are there any of you right now that would not take more time with your family around the table? No, it's something we all want. Yeah. And I remember the first time we went to France, someone told us, they said, when you make a reservation at night for seven, that table is yours. Yeah. It's not your table from seven till until eight or until you're done. That table is yours for the night. They want you to linger. Yeah. And this is a great way for families to literally stay around the table yeah. and just spend more time together. And, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a cloth, <laughs> a, a tablecloth like this. This is one that I really love from Crate and Barrel. And I did spill, we had, we had it out on the table at Christmas time and there was some red wine that spilled on it as well as I think we had like a, a a cherry preserve or something mm -hmm. that was yep, sitting out. And there was like an olive tapenade. <laughs> I mean, we got messy, okay? It was fun. It, it had stuff on it and every single one of the stains came out of it. So that's why I think if you buy a really nice one, you'll be able to clean it and you won't have to worry about it getting stained. Do we use it every single day? No, sometimes we sit down at the table and we don't have the tablecloth, but I just think that it's just so French to put the tablecloth down. One of our friends was like, oh, when you move to France, the first thing you need to get is a tablecloth. And we were like, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> but <laughs> She was very passionate about it. <laughs> yeah, we've lived by that rule ever since. <laughs> so I think having a beautiful tablecloth and then um, just some linen napkins like these will really just help you to just create a beautiful ambiance that will just, it, again, it just encourages you just to linger. And I love these because I buy them off of Amazon. They're really inexpensive. And we literally use these and, and they're not high there maintenance. There is no. I know some people are like, oh, but then you have to iron them and steam them and press them and all that stuff. There's no stains on any of them, even though we no. actively use these. I remember even recently we had uh, spaghetti with pasta sauce and there was stuff all over them and they just come yeah. clean. Yep. So I think it's really practical. It's really nice. And it just helps us just to sit and linger. So then Jack's also got the classic white dinnerware. You cannot go. You cannot go wrong with white. It's in yeah. every cafe, every restaurant. If you just want a really just elegant, classic yeah. table setting, this is key. I feel like you could also do something that's a little bit more vintage, but if you're just getting started having these basics, I feel like this is something that probably most of you already have. And that's why I wanted to, to be simple, easy items that you feel like this is attainable because this is everyday living that you can do in your home. Now, if you don't have a, a nice set, I really recommend this set and they also have the ones with the little beading on them Ooh, yeah. from Pottery Barn. And they're just really good classic pieces that are really affordable. Yeah. So you don't feel like they're so precious. We have always served our kids on like regular Regulars. Yeah. dishes. We didn't ever serve plastic. I don't I don't like to serve anything they on paper plate. They learn how to use it. In Denmark, yeah. kids serve themselves at like age two and three. Yeah. So if, you, if we train them up how to use it, they'll actually use it. Yeah, so um, just from the time the kids were little, this was something that we did. And you know, it's inexpensive. So I'm like, you know, if it falls on the floor, if it breaks, it's not the end of the world. I can just go get another one. But we have actually never, never broken, broken one. one. No, but you know, it's like, I think when you're just getting started, it's like, okay, I, I want to spend yeah. my money yeah. well. And something like this is just really classic. And it will just help you to create a really classic, clean look. And then you can always add to it. But this really just gives you that, mm, that initial. Yeah. It's so good. And then you cannot go wrong. Oh my gosh. These, these are these our forks, favorites. These forks are our favorite. And it's a little bit funny because we were actually in a French cafe in Charleston. And we were sitting there and we were like, this is literally the best fork I've ever touched. It's yeah. the Doria, um, it's their like cafe series. Yeah, Fortessa Doria. It, they're amazing. And we fell in love with them. So we were like, we were literally like this. We're literally like hiding. <laughs> 
Distract, distract. The kids are like knocking things over so we can figure <laughs> out what like, brand this okay, is. Okay, Bortessa. Okay, got it. Okay, I got it. And we literally, I think if I remember correctly, you got on your phone and ordered them. I did. As we were sitting there eating croissants I did. that day. And this is out of all the sets that we have, oh, yeah. the one that we all go to all the time. I have some cool black ones and I have some really elegant, sophisticated gold ones. But when it comes down to oh, like everyday use, they're solid. have something oh. like this. You are gonna love that. Okay, I have another basic item that I just really love to have out on the table. You can do little tea lights, but right now we're just really into the candlesticks. I just think that they just add such elegance yeah. to the table, and I've been lighting them constantly. And I just think that little basics like this, just from Amazon. These are nothing expensive. They're nothing fancy. I never do scented candles at the table, ever. It's always never. just a, a a simple white candle, whether it's a taper, I buy in bulk the tea lights as well because, yeah, I think those are really we great use them too. All the time, we yeah. do, but I just think that you can just have just such a simple little <clears throat> thing, and these are just a very inexpensive little set of candlesticks from Amazon as well. Again, I just think having really great basics like these will just help it to feel really easy. We've got two more items. Why don't you grab that one? Okay. And then we'll save my favorite for last. <laughs> so I think it's, this is also one of the other things that our French friends were like, you have to have a tray. And we were like, why do we have to have a tray? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we're still at the airport. Why do we have to have a yeah, tray? This is, this is very French. <laughs> Apparently we need a tray. Well, the thing is, is that in a lot of French homes, the kitchen is not right next to the dining area. And so you need a tray so that you can transfer things from one room to the yeah. other. I, I think that a tray is just practical. It's really great that if you wanted to bring things to the table, it's just a practical item. You can bring it to the table, you can unload it, and then yeah. reload it. So this is just something that, this literally came from Home Depot. It's it's nothing fancy. Um, again, they do sell some handmade, this is actually handmade. It's from Home Depot, but it is handmade. But you can also check on Etsy for these as well. But I just love that little, look at that little pattern oh, in it. so much fun. And something like this looks gorgeous, sitting out on your countertop. And that's what I really like is that these are items that can sit out. These are everyday items that just enhance your life. They make it simple to be able to transfer things that you're cooking. If you've got your glassware, you can load it up, take it to the table or your plates or the meal. It's just a practical thing, but and it looks gorgeous sitting out. And it's a treat. Oh my gosh, if you're the guest and someone comes walking in, a good looking girl walks in, <laughs> carrying this and there's like food and cheese and everything else on it. Yeah. It's like such, it's, I don't know, it's like opening a present, getting to see this coming in. So it's just a I great way. I use it a way. lot for dessert, actually. Ooh, yeah. That's kind of we like. We should use it today I, for dessert. I think we should. Yeah, maybe I'll send you back to the store. I'll go right now. <laughs> or I'm gonna pull out some uh, of my cookbooks there. <laughs> I think a creme brulee would be amazing, don't you think? <sighs> Can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, so speaking of that, if you've ever watched a video on our channel, it's so funny, I still have like the little tag on it. I don't know why I do that. This is a workhorse. <laughs> there, it's official, it's ours. <laughs> this is truly a workhorse. We have literally owned this for years. And if you've watched any tours on our, our channel, you will have seen this in our kitchen. Yes. We leave it in the kitchen because we use it all the time. Yes. I think, in France, so often they go to the market and they take their little basket with them. Yes. And yeah, and they'll just like fill yeah. it up as they go. And yeah, and like your flowers, the they flowers, would literally- The flowers, long stem would stick out. Yeah, and, and like your zucchini and your tomatoes. <laughs> and this is literally the most practical item in the entire world. Like it is constantly used for us. It looks beautiful just simply sitting out on the stool that we have in the kitchen. You've probably seen it a million times in our videos. It's literally just a part of our life and our decor. It's something that we genuinely use. I use this basket even if we're gonna be traveling, I'll take the coffee machine with me yes. in this basket. Uh, a lot of times if we're going to the pool, I'll create a little picnic and we'll just throw some items in here. This is one of the most, most used items in our entire home. And it's because of our time in Morocco yeah. and the time that we've also spent in France. Now, I know a lot of them, if they're gonna do bigger grocery shopping, they would have the little carts oh, with yes. the little wheels. Oh my gosh, those we are definitely so cool. had one of those when we lived in Spain. But for me, I'm kind of old school. I just love this idea of carrying a beautiful basket. I love the leather handles. This is as authentic as it comes. They actually sell these on Amazon and they sell them on Etsy. 
and we we use it we load it up and the stitching is really nice on these it just it holds this sort of weaving on it it's just meant to really just withstand a yeah. lot of weight and so it's just we just love it and it just feels so french every single time i just feel like oh, i just want to wear a sundress and carry my basket <laughs> and it is so french because they they do balance this usability with like beauty yeah and it's there's a million of the yeah, yeah you could carry big plastic bags and do the same thing but there's such intentionality about they want to make it feel special and they want to yeah. feel beautiful while they're doing it. And this is a great, great thing to have. I think so. So yeah, so that's all the items that we have for today. And I hope that it's just encouraged you in just this small little way to really enjoy your life and the beauty of living in your home. I know we talk a lot about paint colors and furniture and you know, a lot of times we're showing you what's the newest and latest, yeah. but these are basic items that you can live with for years and they just really enhance your quality of life within <laughs> your home. Yeah. I hope that it's really just encouraged you to grab some of the things that you already have and to create these sort of experiences in your home that will remind you if you've been to France or just to kind of dream of yeah. that French experience that you want to have and to be able to create it right now. You don't need a plane ticket or even a train ticket if you're already in <laughs> Europe. You, you don't need that. You don't need your passport for this experience. It's something that you can do at home. And I just love this kind of I stuff. I love creating these experiences. I, I hope that you guys too do. I really hope that you guys do as well. Please let us know down in the comments if you love when we create videos like this because I know that a lot of you really love all the paint tips, but we we have lived overseas. We have traveled a lot. Yeah. We we love to have to, we really love to be able to create different experiences for ourselves and for our families and little cultural things that we've brought from all the different places that we've been. We'd love to be able to share some of that with you guys. Yeah, and they never cost a lot of money. It's just mm -hmm. it's just putting it together in the right way, and that's oh my gosh, we love doing that. Yeah. So we hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment down below. Leave us a comment down below and tell us if you've been to France and what your favorite experience was and if you are dreaming of going to France and maybe where you hope to go. We would love to hear from you guys. We love the conversations that we get to have down in the yeah. comments with you. So thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna have some coffee and enjoy the rest of our day. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hey, I got you a little treat to go with your coffee, too. You did? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some almond croissants. Oh, baby, that was so thoughtful. <laughs> Thank you. I or, love that. Or, hold those. Or. Or. <laughs> okay. Some chocolate croissants. Oh my gosh, the kids are going to be and so excited. And our partner's going to be so happy. Oh my gosh, our kids, our kids love France, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. <laughs>